Um, so here's the demo setup. You have, uh, for the competition, an Intel uh, Core i7-6900K stock out of the box, right? So stock uh, clock speed of 3.2 gig, uh, boosting multi-threaded to 3.7 gig. So that was one of the questions you guys have had for us related to you know, demos from August and Path to Zen. So you're seeing a stock 6900K list for about $1,100 US. And the other system is the uh, AMD system, which is a 3.4 gigahertz Summit Ridge without boost enabled. Um, we've got a pretty great story on Boost to share with you guys and want to hold back a little bit as we get closer to the embargoed uh, tech event that we'll do together in Q1. So as it completes, what you're going to see, it's about a 60 second overall run, is that 8 cores, 16 threads, out of the box 6900K versus Summit Ridge at 3.4 gigahertz, the AMD system. So, so James, I think you can uh, uh, do a couple things with that and then move it um, into our render engine where we'll jump over part of the um, part of the ZBrush suite we have the ability to do that real-time ray tracing based uh, renders where we can apply effects apply textures apply lighting uh, apply refraction and in real time because of that amazing responsiveness of those eight cores 16 threads running at 3.4 gigahertz you immediately see the effects of those changes as James applies them. And if you guys have tried to do this kind of workload with major 3D models before and then getting into you know, rendering and trying to see your effects in real time, you, this is one of those workloads where you really need that super high-end CPU to drive a very real-time responsive experience. So I wanted to share a little bit with the team on that. It's pretty cool. I could watch James play with the, with the Rhino here. And he's turned it into glass and added you know, some of the like, facets of a glass cut to the Rhino. Not sure what James has got there. That's that's pretty cool. But you see how responsive it is as he applies textures and changes lighting effects in real time uh, to a very complex model. So just a great example of how Summit Ridge Gym is more than ready for the super high end of those kinds of workstation workloads. We have AMD on this side. We have Intel on this side. You'll notice in green here we have um, the idle power of uh, the systems. So this is a uh, system wall power uh, that we have. So we're showing for the first time the total system power. And we're gonna use a 3D image of our Ryzen processor as our test file. So Blender is a, a tough CPU metric. It uses all eight cores, 16 threads. It's a heavy workload. So guys, let's start the demo. You'll watch the powers on both screens as we go forward. What you'll basically see in just a couple of seconds when the demo completes you'll see that both processors complete the workload in about the same time so very very close even though intel has boost on and we don't and ryzen maintains a lower power through the render so equal performance lower power heavy CPU workload with eight cores and 16 threads on. And you can bet that we are not done yet. This processor is gonna be optimized for all of the Sense MI technologies that Mark talked about. And we might do a little bit more on some other things as well. So I wanna leave you with, we did achieve the performance and we did get the PowerPoint. And we, did, we believe we'll be extraordinarily competitive when Ryzen comes to market.